So what, what should I use instead of the adult industry? Uh, the porn. Okay, it's porn. They're fine. porn. It's nothing wrong with porn. Yeah, God in the damn porn it. industry, they use a uh, chemical uh, which, in fact, comes from uh, a woman, uh, PGE, which wow. prostaglandin E, and they inject it in the base of the penis, and it makes them have an erection that lasts for like two to four hours like a baseball bat. That's such a strange thing. They take something out of the woman, they inject it into the man, and the man gets rock hard. Do you think that that is like there? In a woman to make a man erect, like she has the ability to do that yeah, with a and chemical? The, and the man in his uh, sperm, when he ejaculates in a woman who is pregnant, it can cause her to deliver. Maybe you. Yeah, Not you me. <laughs> no, I'm more careful. <laughs> <laughs> so this, what, if, uh, what, what is this th stuff that a woman has that they take out with a needle? Uh, what is they it? don't take it out of her, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a chemical in her. <laughs> well, how does she have it? Where, where is it in her? It's in her body. It's in her body. Can it come out in her sweat or anything like that? Oh, uh, you like pheromones? Yes. Um, I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. Must. Must. It comes out of so? her vagina, for hey, sure. Absolutely. Out of the it vagina. That's why we're all attracted to him. Yeah. It comes out vagina, of the vagina. not the woman. Yeah. Right. Well, that's not true. Okay. This, w you can be attracted to both, Mr. Absolutely. Gordon. How dare you? <laughs> absolutely. How dare you? <laughs> it's not an either-or situation, sir. It's a woman. this is a free-for-all here. It is a damn okay, free-for-all. Yeah, but I mean, that only makes sense why... Uh, Eating pussy gives guys hard-ons. Sorry, I had to say it that way. Right. Look. It's the pheromones. Don't get upset at me, ladies and gentlemen. It's what am I going to say? Fellatio? It, and you go, who are you? I know her. Fellatio? Felice, yeah. So. Uh, <sighs> Mark Gordon. Absolutely. <laughs> what can I do? You're a bad influence. No, no, I'm no. A I'm a good. You're a great guy. <laughs> I'm a semi-professional. But the sm it makes sense that a woman would have something in her body where the smell of it actually Correct. gives a guy an erection. Because that absolutely works. Look Look at the animals. Uh, the guy gets horny during the estrus, which mm -hmm. is the female cycle of an animal. And she's throwing out pheromones. So obviously, gals are throwing out pheromones. And when you meet a, you know, you stand in front of, I'll tell you the man side of it later, when you stand in front of a group of women, there are certain of the women that you're more attracted to mm -hmm. than others. There was a study done at UCLA where they were looking at this issue of pheromones. And I apologize, I forget the female doctor's name who did all this research and developed a product which guys can buy. Of course, it was a chick. It was a chick. Making money on yeah. that smell. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what she found was that um, she took women and she introduced them to guys that were fat, that were lazy. You know, from smoking marijuana, right? Yeah, those lazy, fat, fat, lazy guys. fucking lazy potheads. They, they didn't see them, but they had the shirts from these guys. So they smelled the shirt to smell the perspiration that was on it. Mm. And what happened almost 100% of the time was they were able to pick the guy that was healthy, that was uh, physically active, that produced this pure pussy um, perspiration. And they found that it was guys that were healthy that didn't have any medical conditions. So women can sense through the pheromones or the pheromones transmit understanding about the condition of the person. They picked the guys that were fat. They picked the guys that were healthy. So she took the chemicals or the synthesized the stuff that they found in the healthy guys, and that's her pheromone. That's fascinating. 150 bucks, I think, for a little bottle. They make it, perfume. And I think that totally makes sense. I mean, if we know that pheromones exist and you know that when you're like really attracted to someone, the, the, the intensity, like when you're touching them and just being near them, it, it like, it like woo, t turns on something. And it absolutely could be pheromonal as well as physical, as well as pleasure-based and sensitivity. There mm -hmm. could be some pheromone exchanges too. Right. But I think that the pheromones really set you up for everything. Looking at, you know, in, in – um so Neuroendocrinology, which is the way hormones work in the brain, which is what I spend most of my time doing, um, pheromones trigger um, pleasurable centers, centers in the brain. You know, we have centers, you know, libido area, which is another way of saying the sex area of the brain. We have an area that's stimulated by not just testosterone, but estradiol in a recent article that came out of JAMA uh, three, four months ago. And uh, Dr. Abraham Morgenthaler was on uh, the news talking about it on Good Morning America or something. And men need estradiol in order to have a fully functioning sexual mindset. And women need testosterone. I have a question for you. Has there ever been anyone so fucking dumb they named their kid libido? <laughs> <laughs> there has to be, right? There has to be a guy. It's like I'm telling you, this kid all he's gonna want to do is fuck. When Jamie I'm has a call chance, him you can look up, right? There must be. Yeah. There's a libido out there yeah. somewhere, somewhere along the line. It's got to be. You're looking at.